This is my introduction to Sarley Wilson on YouTube. I'm Captain Wannabe Ian. Now, yes, I do have a sailing certificate. In fact, I have two. Whether I can sail or not is another story. I own a 2013 Island Spirit catamaran, 38 foot in length, and I really love my boat. I'm sure you've heard this before, but please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and push on the notification bell. That would help a lot. By the way, please share my videos with other people you know. I'm currently on the hard stand at Reback Island Shipyard, which is in the top middle of the photograph. Reback Island is a resort island just off the main island of Langkawi in Malaysia. Here's a Google Earth image of my boat just beside the blue dot on the hard stand. And here's a photograph of my boat just after I finish putting the copper coat on. I've still got a lot of work to do. This video is about the repair of our front windows on our yacht at Reback Island. And Reback Island has a fairly big population of monkeys and they're really annoying. They've thinned them out a little bit and relocated them. Uh, we had Christmas dinner at the Reback Island restaurant, hotel restaurant, the resort restaurant, and it was quite enjoyable, all you could eat. Uh, buffet. Here's a photograph of the leaking areas on our windows, and uh, they're hinged so that you can see in this photograph how you can lift them up and the air flows through the whole boat, and it's quite enjoyable. And that's why I decided to try to eliminate the leak. And um, here you see I'm using a hammer and some screwdrivers to get in underneath the hinges after I've removed the nuts from the other side and um, pry them loose uh, carefully. I didn't want to do too much uh, damage. I didn't do any damage at all. But uh, there's one window on the trampoline and my wife cleaning the old uh, rubber seal which was had disintegrated and was no longer useful so here I am with a close-up view of how I use the, the screwdriver to get underneath and get out the um, hinges from the fiberglass frame it wasn't easy to remove them I had to pry each one and lift them up one at a time and then lift the whole window out in one uh, piece. Uh, my wife helped him, me to do that. I used a combination of hammer, screwdrivers, tire levers and a scraper to remove the windows. During that process we were interrupted by the Chris from Sailworks who uh, went up and did the uh, stainless steel Four stay on the furling mechanism and replaced it. I'm using a winch bit in a Milwaukee uh, drill to lift Chris up the mast to do his work. Saved a lot of work on the winch. So we filled the holes with thickened epoxy and then give it a couple of coats of epoxy and painted the primer on it and the white gloss. We taped off the areas around the windows so that we wouldn't spill any paint or sycophlex and we used a scotch 40 mil um, masking tape. I decided to use five millimeter rubber, flexible rubber instead of a window seal and we put um, white Sikaflex 295 UV on the 30mm strips of this rubber and um, you can see the worker that I had for a, a week doing that under my supervision here's the Sikaflex 295 UV and um, after that I wiped it um, spread it out and it made a bit of a mess. I should have let the young bloke do it. And here's the young bloke, Juan Chai, putting the Sikaflex on the window frame and then spreading it 
so that it um, would hold the rubber strip in place. Then we laid the 30mm strips of rubber around the window frame and it wasn't a great job. Then we did the rest of the window frames with the white Sikaflex and um, laid the rubber seal in place. I didn't use professional seals because they're too dear and that's probably a mistake. Yeah, we better cut it. Once we put the seals in place, we went about sanding off more of the epoxied area where the, the hinges would go, and here's my white vacuum in. And then I went about measuring up very, very careful. Um, measure twice, blunder once. So here I am getting those measurements onto the window frame before I drilled the holes. You notice that I've got tremors in my hands and it's quite difficult sometimes to do even the little job. So then I put the windows and hinges in place and just left a gap so that we could squeeze in the white Sikaflex before um, heading, uh, using a rubber mallet to knock it down. I had to use the grinder to shave up some of the hinges to fit in to the gutter. Um, but everything else worked okay and it was flush and fairly even and here I am using a, a rubber mallet to knock it in I was happy with that because it made a really tight fit and um, less chance of more water leaking in through the bolts here in this video you can see these white Sikaflex oozing out underneath the, the hinges once I bolted them down and put the nuts on and tightened them up and here I'm putting some Sikaflex onto the washers from the inside of the window and as you can see my tremors were quite bad that day and everything was hard work and um, yeah I originally took the front louver windows off um, when I was doing the upper deck just to try to bed them in closer to the to the window frame and to stop the leaks in bad weather but it didn't work and it was disappointing a week's work but then I came up with the idea of putting a gutter above the window and you can see some of the water that gathers and it should run off and um, it doesn't look that neat and tidy, but it's effective in a way. And I drilled some, some holes in the pipe to help the water run off down away from the window itself. But when it overflowed, the same problem came back. So then I got the idea of putting, um, cutting a, some rubber matting and sticking it in place with Sikaflex and hopefully when it overflows off the top deck over the dam wall of the of that little railing and uh, it'll flow over that black rubber mat and onto the window and then down and um, we'll see how that goes. I really didn't want to remove the windows themselves and and seal in um, a whole sheet of foam core and then put hatches in because it would have been a huge job and and less wind would flow through the boat so that's the main reason for keeping the design that I've got is we can lift the windows up and get good breeze through the boat on hot days here you can see the rubber mat in place and I had to put a, um, a bit in the middle section near the mast um, and you can see a, a better idea of that. I overlapped them and the reason for that was the um, we did have a little bit of a rainstorm and we still had some water coming in near the mast area. And the next night the rain came again and it actually didn't get in to the inside of the boat and the 
idea of the rubber matting has been successful for the general uh, normal type rainfalls. We'll see what happens when we have a big storm. And here is the what I call the finished product and uh, the hatches are in place and um, a bit of a clean up is still to come with them um, maybe even a, a bit of a paint on the areas that we didn't didn't finish so that's it it looks good for me the video was produced by myself and it's the end of another exciting video of our haul out so far at Rebeck Island part 33 and the front window repairs don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos.